page 5. Now we move on to linear inequalities. Okay, first we need to ask ourselves what is meant by linear. So linear is highest power of unknown is one. Okay, right. So these are uh, example linear inequalities. Okay, linear inequalities are inequalities which can be written as okay, this four. So this is the first one. Second one, okay, the third one, and the last one. So you can see here, x is our unknown, so highest power of x is 1. So highest power of x, highest power of x is 1. So that's why we call it linear. And why linear inequalities? Because the sign inequalities here, see, greater than, less than, greater equals, and less than equal. And A and B are real numbers. So A and B is numbers, okay? Not unknown. Okay, alright. So what you should take note here is rules for solving inequalities. Alright. Okay, multiplying or dividing both sides by the same positive number leave the inequality unaltered. What is meant by unaltered? Unaltered means remain same. Remain same. Okay, meaning that it will not change anything, okay? The inequalities remain the same, right? But the second one, we should take note, okay? Or be more careful. Multiply or dividing both sides by the same negative number reverses the inequality sign. So when involved negative, so inequality sign will reverse. Remember, multiply dividing with negative, so inequality sign will reverse or change okay remember that okay let's move on to example one to get better understanding so solve the following inequalities give the answer in both set and interval form set notation and interval notation or interval form okay All right so for question a so for x minus 12 greater than zero so what should you do so you must uh, remind yourself unknown x must remain on our left hand side so 4x so the rest will uh, will bring will be brought to our right hand side so 4x greater than 12 okay right 12 move to the right will be 12 then so x okay, 12 divided by 4 will be 3 okay so you cannot leave your answer just like this you need to write in set and interval form so for set it will be curly bracket x double dot okay so just take this answer x greater than 3 and how about interval so interval will be so our answer is x greater than 3 x greater than 3 so 3 comma infinity and what about the type of bracket we know that infinity always open 3 beside 3 is greater, beside 3 is greater, so the bracket here should be open. Okay, so for B, okay, 3x, 3x plus 4 less than or equals to 0. So 3x remain on our left hand side, so bring positive 4 to the right hand side, so be 3x less than or equals to negative 4 then x okay negative 4 divide by 3 okay positive 3 so nothing change here so it will be negative 4 over 3 so x less than or equals to negative 4 over 3 again 
do not leave your answer like this. You need to write it in both set and interval form. So for set, it will be curly bracket x double dot x less than or equals to negative 4 over 3. Right, okay, done. And for interval, it will be again. So look at our answer less than or equal so if you can imagine the number line so the arrow will pointing to the left because of less than equal so definitely our answer will start from negative infinity lah, since pointing to the left hand side so negative infinity comma negative 4 over 3 so again infinity always open bracket and negative over 3 the type of bracket here so refer to the sign inequalities less than equal so less than equal means close. Okay. Right, so for question C, 3 minus 7x less than 2x plus 21. So here on our left hand side and our right hand side has unknown x. Okay, compared to the first two, so just one. Okay, right. So, what should you do? First, bring all unknown x to the left hand side and the rest bring to the right hand side. So, it will be negative 7x. So, 2x bring to the left hand side will be minus 2x. So, less than, okay, 21. Then, 3, positive 3 bring to the right hand side it will be minus 3. Then solve it, so it will be negative 9x less than 21 minus 3 will be 18. Alright, so here x, k, okay, now this is what the number 2, rules number 2 meaning, the meaning of rule number 2. Okay, so x will be what? 18 minus negative 9. So 18 minus negative. So no, 18 minus 18 divided by negative 9. Okay. So negative. Negative. Right. So it will be what will happen? The sign will reverse. So 18 divided by negative 9. So it will be negative 2. And the sign reverse. So sign change. Okay, right. So again, so our final answer should be in set and interval form. So set notation will be curly bracket x double dot. So x greater or equal to negative 2. And then for interval, again, so greater than, so greater than negative 2. So the arrow pointing to the right. Lah. If you can imagine the number line, so negative 2 comma infinity infinity always open and for negative 2 the sign here is greater than okay so open okay. right done so here again eh, remember divided by negative so the sign here change from less than to greater than now move on to example 2 Find the interval in which x satisfy the following inequalities. Okay, so our final answer should be, should be in the form of interval. Okay, alright. So question A, 2x minus 4 greater than 8. So again, um, so 2x remain on our left hand side. And the rest bring to the right hand side. So 2x greater than 8 plus 4, so 2x greater than 12, and then here x, so 12 divided by positive 2, so positive 2, so the sign doesn't change, so still greater than, so 12 divided by 2 will be 6, and again, the final answer should be in the interval, so interval, interval, okay, right, so 6, x greater than, so imagine number line greater, the arrow pointing to the right up to infinity. So 6, infinity, 
infinity always open bracket and how about 6 ok so 6 the inequality here is greater than so the bracket should be open bracket alright done for question A for question B ok negative 4x minus 5 less than 2x minus 9 so so negative 4x minus 2x and the rest bring to the right hand side so negative 9 plus 5 so solve it negative 6x less than negative 4 ok here again can you see spot the difference so here is negative 4 divided by negative 6 compared here positive 2 so positive doesn't change anything but here the question B same as question C for example 1C 18 divided by negative 9 so sign change so for A and B just positive 3 doesn't change positive 4 divided doesn't change so same like C here okay so what will happen so x right so the sign will change to greater than so negative 4 divided by negative 6 so signs change okay signs change so x greater or equals to 2 over 365 okay right so our interval will be again so greater than so 2 over 3 imagine the number line so pointing to the right up to positive infinity infinity always open and again for 2 over 3 so the sign is greater than the bracket is open bracket okay. page 6 um, both question C and D try yourself okay but I will give you the final answer for C, which is close bracket negative six comma infinity open. Okay, and for final answer for D will be close bracket negative eighteen comma infinity open. Okay, right. 